What is up everyone, Tyler here and I'm back with another video. Before we start off this video, I kind of want to show you guys my new camera setup. It's the same camera, and my audio port stopped working for some reason, so that's why I got this new rig. Okay, so this is my setup. I have a video micro, a Zoom H1 external audio recorder. The quality of the audio is way better now. The fact that I actually have it on my camera is really great because I was like holding it and that was just a pain but still the same camera T3i pretty cheap setup if you're on the fence about a setup go with a cheap camera an external mic and recorder is probably essential because if you plug it into the camera it doesn't sound as good what I want to get from this video is to show my process and things and how I've been going about life it hasn't really been a revolved around cars if you guys notice through my videos I'm trying to take a shift towards giving back to you guys and not making it all around a material item if you're new to the channel my name's Tyler I'm your average car guy but I I think I have a different view on cars now something I will go further in depth in uh, another video it's been a while since I made a video but it feels good to be back now this camera is two times as heavier my hand is getting tired now, so let's get on with the video. It's really loud, I'm about to go to school. This is my G, by the way. Before I get on the road, because it's a 20 to 30 minute drive, that's a good gap for information. So I choose to educate myself through a podcast since I don't have to watch it. I recommend Gary V, um, Lewis Howes, School of Greatness. What else? Oh, Tim Ferriss. I mean, yeah, he's cool too. Just some recommendations. I'm uh, head of school. I'll catch you guys there. Floor it? No, 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 don't floor it. Okay, floor it. No. All right, at my college for the classes I'm taking here, they don't start till 10, but I'm here at eight. I, I always just try to trap myself. That's a good way of getting work done, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling here. You can see my stickers. Pretty cool touches. Adds a bit of personality, but back to the topic. Um, other ways I've been actually educating myself is reading books, online video courses, and YouTube in general. They're pretty good resources. I'll show you guys the books when I get home. I'm pretty proud of myself that I got reading as a habit because whenever I was little, no one really taught me how to effectively read. The only book I've actually read was in college. That was something I really needed to improve on, which I, I kind of did, yeah. Online video courses are expensive as hell. I think of it as another college class, about the same amount, <laughs> really expensive. I think it's well worth it though. If you guys are considering it, just pull the plug, do it. There's no way it wouldn't be worth it unless it's an actual scam. There's some pretty good information out there. Just gotta put out the money. One thing I've always despised was community college. When I was in high school, I was like, no, nah, I am not going there. That's for losers. Da, da, da. In my mind, obviously, I wouldn't say that to anyone. Once I did go to university, I switched back to here. This is a community college. I am in for graphic design. Just a skill I want to improve on one thing I noticed a lot in community college is that people are in and out there are people who reach out to a lot of the resources I feel that I utilize it pretty good I visit my counselor every two to three weeks other things like tutoring I go like four times a week school is something that has kind of grown on me I mean the classes are kind of tough it's difficult as hell and takes a lot of time out of my YouTube and other stuff this semester this semester I only applied to one college that was SFSU San Francisco State University I was planning on transferring there I uh, yeah I got accepted which is really good I'm gonna finish in two years after those two years I hope to focus on everything about my personal brand currently trying to find a specific niche because I know some of my audiences like car people and others are here for my other kind of me videos <laughs> yeah I'm gonna go ahead and study now I'll catch you guys back I'll show you guys some of the books that I've been reading back from class and all that boring stuff time to go home and work on myself 
finally. School's honestly not that bad though because you get to meet great people and all that. Pretty long drive back. Usually I don't drive this car so I don't get to release my stress now that I drove this car today. I'm gonna actually enjoy the ride home for once. I know I know this video is turning out to be a little bit different as usual though. I'm pretty sure you guys are used to me testing out new things on this channel but what I want to share with you guys is the stuff that I actually read. Definitely starting to read much more at least every day whether it's for school or not. Sometimes there's no time for my personal books. My most recent one the Millionaire Morning. This is by Lewis Howes. If you watch his podcast, The School of Greatness, amazing dude. I love him. One topic he focused on in the book that caught my attention was sleep. Because of that, it's your foundation that will affect all your results. In the long term, getting sleep will actually benefit you. But short term, it will. It will. You can bring results for the short term, but eventually your body will just deteriorate essentially because you're deprived of sleep another one is crushing it these are all these ones that i'm showing you are kind of like the top podcasters slash entrepreneurs very interesting though. this book by far is crushing it as it says i'm really engaged in the content while i'm reading i think of what i am doing right now and how I could implement and take out stuff from my like life. He doesn't want any excuses. I like how he wants to provide people with the most value. And I think he actually does that in this book, which is amazing. The last book I have not read yet because it's so huge. 500 pages, Tribe of Mentors. This is by Tim Ferriss. He also does a podcast pretty interesting out of all of them he's like the third one because i think gary v is on top and then lewis house tim ferris those are just a few people who i really look up to and support honestly changed my whole mindset on life and that's pretty weird to say for me because i am the person who i thought that would never touch a book after high school or something like that i mean okay other than school books if you notice throughout this episode of thinking with tyler episode four i just talked about education whether it's from school or other people in the world from social media all that it's investing you for yourself in the future it doesn't hurt spending a little bit of time educating yourself every day even if you're not in school something to think about yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video Oh, 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 oh,